Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, I'm going to put the Enterprise B against two Saber classes. Now, I think it's got a good chance being a much larger, powerful ship, even though it's like a hundred years behind, but let's see what happens. Okay. So we can fire six photons from the front and four from the rear. That might give us a bit of an edge over the Saber. Saber's a much smaller ship. Oh, there's two of them. The key is going to be to try and not get hit, basically, as their torpedoes and phasers are more advanced. Sir, they are draining our dorsal shield. Okay. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Well, it would appear the Enterprise B's photons have arrived. That's something. Ooh. Right. So their shield generator is still working, even though their hull's almost gone. Bottom shield's weakening on us. Oh, there we go. We got the first one. Simulated enemy ship has been destroyed. I think there's a reason why the Excelsior class was still around in the next generation era. And you can see it right here. This reminds me of Klingon Academy. Of course the Sabre class wasn't in Klingon Academy, but the Excelsior class was. I'm convinced the Sabre class has some kind of armor because we're having real trouble disabling that shield generator. I'm saying that. Look at that, that shield generator is so well protected. Oh, nope, we got it, there we go. Whoa! Yes! Has been disabled. Wow. What do you guys think of that in terms of power balance? That's it. We got him. That was epic. It reminds me of Klingon Academy. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.